Well hey there, I'm Chase, and I guess my mic is messed up on my camera, which means I'm now doing a voiceover for this intro. I like to take slow cars and turn them into fast homes. My wife and I have been doing this along with traveling for the last six years, and we've made some pretty awesome design breakthroughs along the way. We're currently converting a nearly 20 year old school bus, turning it into a tiny home, and we're finally starting to get to the fun stuff. Like this. We've got quite a bit of experience, and I like to think we've also got looks as well. Which brings me to a quote from the founding father of this country himself. George Washington once said, it would be really cool if you subscribed to this channel. So hit that subscribe button, buckle up, and feel free to comment below with suggestions on how you'd do something better, ideas for the next stages in this build, or the last random thing you googled when you couldn't sleep at night. I'm on top of the bus because I'm about to start a boy band and I need a really edgy picture for my album cover. That's not what, what's according to be happening right now. <laughs> Let's rewind. <laughs> no, I'm up here. I'm about to bring up our, our super strut to, uh, to kind of position where our solar panels are going to go. chilly day here in Tennessee which means we're getting some work done in the warm warmth of the shop <laughs> and today I decided to have a delicious galleta Cati de Venezuela and Chase comes to me and he says are you having a moon pie the disrespect this man he just slapped me in the face twice and walk away this is not a moon pie this is a galleta Cati <laughs> it's crunk, it's more crunchy and more delicious and it's from Venezuela. <laughs> that aside though, today we're trying to wrap up everything before foaming. So that means today we are installing our remaining furring strips on the walls. I got the screws for that yesterday. We're finishing 12 volt wiring, which means we'll probably have to punch a couple of holes through the side of the bus as well. And the roof, solar in. And then I'm also getting up on the roof and laying out our rails for our solar and those are gonna go in. So we've got a lot to do. So I've cut my super strut and uh, we're about to get the first two pieces installed. Now you can do a bunch of different things and you can spend a lot of money on specialty solar panel rails, but why would you wanna do that? The only way that makes sense is if you have a ton of money to blow. And I know you don't have a ton of money to blow because you'd be subscribed to our Patreon if that were the case, so. <laughs> so if you do have a ton of money to blow and you're gonna spend a ton of money on solar rails well i expect to see notification for patreon that you've subscribed to us so what i'm gonna do now to um start this off is i'm gonna use some of the seam sealer just kind of glob in and around the hole and then we're gonna be putting these grade eight uh galvanized coarse thread bolts through so this is what's actually going to hold the rails to the roof and uh, i'm seam sealing below and then I'm gonna come back through on top and uh, throw a bead around it. And then eventually, once this stuff all sets up, as I've mentioned before, we're gonna come back through all at once with uh, Dicor self-leveling lap sealant.
the referrals. I'm excited. You did great, Bobo. You were quick. Literally, the time that it took you to do those two, I only put two up. <laughs> well, hold on. Two and two. We're even. Yeah. But well. You, you also had to do all of those. Yeah, I had to do all of those for the windows. And I just cut those two, so I'm ready to put two other pieces. You don't even need me. You're an expert bus builder. And don't worry, guys. He's wearing his safety glasses. And my safety gloves. Good job. And my safety outer jacket. Wow, Chase. Chase from the past would have never believed it. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Genius. Drop it. Drop what? Like, the mic? Drop the mic. So what I'll do now... Well, I've got to drill this one. I was just speaking ahead of myself. I'm going to do this one and then... Well, no, I should probably still do it from the other, other side. Never mind. Forget everything I just said. <laughs> We don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he doesn't know either. Good job! So much easier. <laughs> I'm ripping bolts. It's so sad. We used to take such good care of this broom, and now I'm sweeping metal shards off the top of a dirty ass bus with it. I was really thinking I was gonna get ahead of myself and install some panels, but then I remembered I really need to wash this roof and then seal it with an elastomeric coating because I know for a fact there are parts of this roof that leak a little. about 37 inches. I want to drill it from the top. That way I can drill it through. Yeah. One of those. So this is stressful. Are you pregnant? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need you to... Hold it? Well, uh, maybe I'll hold it. Well, there's light through there. <laughs> well, it's a hole. Let's go see how close I was. I think it's good. I trust you. Oh, no. What? I'm just kidding. Oh, baby. Is it good? It'll do, pig. It'll do. Mommy won once again. It'll do. I'm almost done with this too. Shoo I like big butts and I can't even lie. Go ahead and feed him. Let's bolt through. The blub. Yep, and I gotta find the, gotta find the hole. There we go. I got the shit all over my fingers. You want me to do it? No! Are you holding? And since we're using super strut, we've got these cool little attachments that clamp onto the solar panels and go into the super strut. Today is the day I thought would never come. I'm about to spray foam. So my initial thoughts are that the foam is looking okay. It's covering pretty well. I was surprised at how much came out of one kit. Now I bought three kits, 
But uh, last night when I was opening the kits to you know start sitting them in front of the heater and get them heated up and ready for today, uh, I noticed that Tiger Foam shipped me four part A and two part B. So I'm only gonna be able to spray two of my sets. I'm gonna see how far I can stretch the other kit. I'm not necessarily gonna go for thickness this go around. I'm gonna go more for coverage. And kind of the same thing with this. I didn't get the full thickness that I was expecting out of it, uh, but I did cover almost half of the bus um, pretty well. In some parts, I'm, I'm totally three inches or deeper. So that's pretty exciting. We foamed the bus as much as we possibly can, and uh, Tiger Foam has gotten back in touch with me, and they, uh, they're saying that it was a warehouse uh, packing issue uh, because all the boxes were correct. They ended up just sending one of the wrong component, but they said they're gonna make it right and send me the right component that we need, and then I'll be able to finish foaming in the bus. But in the meantime, Marese and I figured there's something else that we could possibly do. Washing the roof of the bus and then painting. We bought a non-siliconized version of Henry's roof ceiling. And we've gone with Durabrite. First, I've got to climb up here and I got to do it before it starts raining, so come on. We've had below freezing temperatures for the last like two and a half weeks and we had a bunch of snow. And yesterday it was like 52 degrees, so all the snow melted. I feel like I'm in Vermont in the middle of mud season right now. We're just like marring up in the yard and tromping mud everywhere and where it's been freezing, we turned off water to the shop, so I've got to go inside to fill this bucket up. Well, the bus roof looks much better. The center line where I've been walking with filthy boots, uh, that's just not gonna come clean. I was gonna go ahead and paint. It's almost ready for it, but I can't find my roller. So uh, I've decided to throw an audible and I've got some Dicor self-leveling lap sealant, which need to go down anyway. And it just makes sense that maybe I go ahead and put that down first. I absolutely love using this stuff. It is really like a save all for pretty much any type of roofing project, so. So this stuff just smooths out over whatever you put on it, so. Now we're gonna be using Henry roof sealant 
to seal between the joints where the metal overlaps uh, the other metal. So I've noticed there are a couple of cracks in between some of them, and I'm sure there's enough sealant back between them, but I'd, mu I'd much rather be safe. Go ahead and do this before we seal up the roof with uh, the elastomeric paint. You can see it's kind of cracked in a couple of places. Oh my goodness, it's putting down the rain today. We just can't get away from weather. If it's not snow, then it's below freezing with polar vortex. And if it's not doing one of the two of those, we've got torrential downpours. Take a look at this. We're flooded. I am not here for this weather. And I'm supposed to be painting the roof on the bus today, but and I just made a trip to Lowe's because I couldn't find my uh, paint roller attachment for 18 inch rollers because you just got to do things big. This fancy shop of ours has got a little leak and I would be parked perfectly where it's dripping. Look at that! So that's something to address. Yeah, there it is. That's something to address when uh, when it's not downpouring and we have the option and the ability to get up on the roof. But now I don't know what to do because how am I supposed to paint over this? Man, that sucks. <laughs> 